Yo, the professionals at Ballistics are back and we're going to show you how to maintain your ski or snowboard edges. But I got a snow bike. But I ain't stopping, but I ain't stopping, but I ain't stopping anytime so here. Before we start, if you guys need your edges set or sharpened properly, bring it in and get one of the professionals to do it. Today we're only talking about rust and burrs. First part before you maintain your edges is you need to set your skis up on a ski vise. If you don't have ski vices, use a couple of toolboxes or some books. If you don't have any books, use your shop boy. How long do I have to do this for? Next, pull the brake up from the edge of the ski by using a rubber band. If you don't have a rubber band, use tape. If you don't have tape, use your shop boy. Remember that burrs and rust spots are like fingernails in the snow. They grab on and they slow the ski down or slow your snowboard down when you're turning or railing on edge. Next to check the edges, don't run your fingers up and down because you can cut them. Get a nice clean rag. Get a nice clean rag. Use your finger along the edge and where you feel it catching, those are the points at which you're going to need to work on. Pretty much the only tools you'll need to do this job are a gummy stone and a diamond stone. If you're too cheap to get a diamond stone, then a hard stone will suffice. Once you've found all the points on the ski or snowboard where the bird edges are, then using the diamond file, hold it hard against the edge and run tip to tail on the ski just along those points. Then using the diamond file or hard stone, run the whole length from tip to tail. Then using your gummy stone, get rid of all the rust spots. This should in turn polish up the edges nice. If you like your edges sharp, try not to angle the gummy stone at 45 to the edge. Always keep it on the side edge or the base. This is the perfect thing you can do at home or on the fly to remove the burrs and remove the rust and keep the skis flowing nice and smooth on the snow. If you want them sharp though, you're going to need an edging tool or you're going to need to bring them into the professionals to get them tuned properly. Ellie, cheer up Ellie. 